Okay, hello. We are playing Scooby-Doo again today. Um, I've been having fun so far playing it. So, let's play some more. Misbehaving code. Wait, what? Well, I didn't even get to read that. Oh, yeah, yeah. That will tell you to mess with me. I don't think I ever beat this game. I'm trying to remember if I did. Like I did a another playthrough of this somewhere later down the line, but I don't know. I know the first time I I played this as a kid, I never finished it. Oh yeah, I was supposed to fix that. Totally fine. Ruby snacks. I can't do this part because I don't have the uh I don't have the, what you might call it, the plunger. Right. Well, there is a monster token up there, so I might as well go get that. Might as well go get that. Oh, there is a door over there, so I guess you can go to that door too. Hopefully, we can actually go through it. I think I need the umbrella for that part. A shortcut break. Ah. No, no, it's a robbie. Right. Very crazy. Hey, 
Look out, Scoob! Can I go somewhere in the house? Did I ever finish the house? I think I should go back into the house because I don't think I finished all the quests in the house. I like how I got the hamburger, I was like, ah, oh, I got the hamburger, and then I still got hit. What a loser. Come on, Scoob, let's get going. Where should we go? That's the real question. Oh, I couldn't do this part because I need the umbrella. It's a warm day. the lighthouse yeah I did the lighthouse part already I just gotta remember because this was yesterday so I'm like what do, the, do, what do I have to do again uh huh all right Oh, 
I must say, this game does speed you, like, uh, I mean, health. In terms of health, they, they do give you a lot of health items, so it's not so bad. save and then we'll try and do Shaggy's quest. Or you know what, let's go back inside. I can't get that one for some reason. Alright. 
the headless Hector. Whippy! Rahu! Ah, shit. I keep thinking I have to hold on to the button. Jesus Christ, I get so nervous. Today is another hot one, huh? It's like overly hot. I think I might have to start using the fan soon, but uh, I don't know how that's gonna affect the audio. Whippy! Yeah, a Ronsker token! Whippy! Damn. Didn't I kill all these enemies? Why are they coming back? Did I die? Right. I forget. Right. Wait, what the heck? It's supposed to automatically grab it. What's up? How you doing on this glorious day? That is very hot. It's extremely hot. Good. This is a little hot, but it's all right. I don't remember what I needed for over here. Ah, yeah, I need the... Oh, 
how do I get that shit? I'm not gonna lie, this area is, the map is kind of damn confusing to me. Yeah, I'm doing well. Can't complain. Wrong ward gate. to kill that guy. Oh yeah, I didn't do the fairy. Oh hey! Hey Brandy, what's up? What are you doing? On this glorious hot day. I don't really know what to think of this water actually. Well, I should do get the shaggy part because that's the part that's the most important. So I'm gonna do that part first. Oh yeah, this game's fun. I love this game. Yeah, I love Scooby Doo. So like this, when this game came out, it was like right up my alley. Uh, I'm sorry you're annoyed at work. Hopefully you have a... Hopefully, um, <laughs> you know, when you leave work it will be a lot better. It's like that sometimes. Definitely like that sometimes. Oh, no. Sweet. 
me. Nah, I was thinking I was going I was gonna go to Smash Fest tonight, but I don't really feel like going. I think I'm just gonna stay home. I was actually I really was gonna go, but I just Ah, uh, all right. Yeah, see, we can't do this part. I just read it. <laughs> I just read it. Wow. If I if I took the time to read, I would have seen that he says that he is too high to do it. He's not that high to do it. Um, it's way too high for him to grab it. I mean. Oh, hey, ghost friend. <laughs> yeah, you can carry uh. Shaggy, shaggy at certain points. It's pretty cute. Yeah, I really was gonna go, but I, I just want to stay home today. It's funny too, cause like <laughs> I always have, they're always um I have a friend that's always asking me to go, and I find and I couldn't go because I didn't have my ID. And now that I have my ID, you think I would go, but. I think I'm just gonna stay home. <laughs> I don't know, I just don't feel like going anywhere today. Where the hell do I go? Where would I go? Oh yeah, I know where I can go. Yeah, I want to play the, um, I do want to play the, <laughs> thank you, I do want to play the Rugrats game, the one on PlayStation 1, um, I just have to buy it, um, yeah, but I really do want to play, I do want to play the original Rugrats game, because I really did enjoy playing that game as a kid, so, we'll be playing that in the future also. That's a game I've been wanting to play for a while now. Wait. I think I... I don't get it. Yeah, I do want to play that Rugrats game, so we'll be playing that in the future. Um, oh crap. <laughs> uh, there's two, there's two Rugrats games I know of. It's one, it's the original one and then there's another one based on the Paris movie. But I'm not gonna play the Paris one, that one's kind of boring. But I, I will be playing the original one. That one was hella fun. <laughs> Where does this go? I don't 
don't think I have anything in this area I need to do. Yeah, I've done everything over here. Studio tour. I never played studio tour. Oh, thank you. For, oh, thank you for subscribing. <laughs> thank you so much, ghost friend. <laughs> thank you so much. Wow. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you. Thank you en for enjoying my stream. <laughs> hype, hype, total hype. I'm all about the hype. <laughs> Damn, I did that part already too. Where am I supposed to go? <laughs> in this area but um, in the next area but like this how do I get up there again okay is this the way back wait no I don't think this is the way back oh yes it is oh I really hate those things. <laughs> they used to scare me a lot as a kid. Oh my god, I still have, have horror stories of those fish creatures. Yesterday I was calling them Big Bertha because they, <laughs> they just remind- Ah, oh, really? There's an invisible wall there, right? Yeah, because I don't know. <laughs> Anything that's a fish and that's big and scary, I usually call it Big Bertha. <laughs> big Bertha. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Was it this one? I think it's the first one. They really- I mean this game's fun and it's like, it's really kids friendly and everything but though- The fish monster and the witch- I don't know, they just come off really creepy. <laughs> But yeah, this is my. I really did enjoy this game as a kid. I never finished it because uh, there's a part where if you don't do it correctly, it's like game breaking and it's like you can't redo it. So it's it sucks. So <laughs> I kind of just stopped playing. I kind of hate that it stops a lot. I gotta fix that. Thank <laughs> you. 
I should I should bring the uh, yeah I like the colors of the fish too I should totally um I should show you what the show you what the the case looks like for uh Scoot Magoo. Oh god. I do like the colors of the fish. As a, like an artist, I, I'm like, oh yes, it's, they picked a very nice color scheme, but <laughs> it's still very uh, scary. Well, <laughs> I'm not really scared of it now, but like, oh my god. I hated I hated doing this part as a kid, so <laughs> Cause the way they would just jump out of the <laughs> out of the um the fish pile, it was just so oh my god. I'm scared. Wait, where should I just go? Was that just for that? Cause I think that was. I think that was just for that part. Right. All right. I'm totally out of options. Now. Yeah, and these. The, what made them even more scary to me as a kid was the floor is very slippery, so. The charge attack that you normally would do doesn't really work properly, so it's like, oh my god. <laughs> Where haven't I not gone? Hedge mage. This one's really straightforward, so... Doom and gloom in a cool tune. I can't do this part because... It requires me to have the plunger. I don't even know where to get the plunger. Yeah, the hair is totally creepy. Away we go. Yeah. <laughs> Geronimo! It's a working. It's just like not it's just like being immobilized and not being able to use the power you have. And then uh a giant fish monster just jumping out of a, of a fish pile and saying like, Oh, where are you? Where are you? Like, oh my god! Like, stuff like that. It's like, oh god, I don't want no part in this, so... Yeah, I was like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nope. Uh, damn. Yeah, this I need I need to find out where to get the uh I think I'm about to just look that part up. Oh, I didn't go down here. What's down here? Right. <laughs> I 
I just I almost thought we were gonna get somewhere. Um all right, let me look this up. I find the plunger boots. Okay. Lighthouse Fright House Part 2. Let's try there first. It says I can get it there, so let's see. Ruby's next. I need to find a warp gate crap. Yeah, it's surprise it's surprising how good this game was, especially for like a you know how like a TV game, normally they're horrible, but this game was actually pretty good. No. Oof, excuse me. It was pretty good. Right. For the most part, from what I've played. And even now, like I'm like, oh, this game really is pretty fun. Except for the the, <laughs> the pauses, but that's that's the emulator's fault. Ah, uh, yeah. I gotta fix that. <laughs> I'm so lazy about it, though. <laughs> yeah, you should. You should. Tell, yeah, you should t give it a try. It's really fun. It is. Is really. If you really like Scooby Doo, you'll like this game. I think. Ah, oh, shoot. I shouldn't have did that. <laughs> yeah, I think if, yeah, if you really do like Scooby-Doo, then this game will be pretty fun. Because as a kid, I really did like Scooby-Doo, so... Um, I did like this, but I think it's... I also think it's fun um, just as a platformer. It has some really good, uh... It really has some really good, um, platforming. It has good platforming, so it's not like, uh, it's not bad. The story is alright, but, um, it's still pretty funny, like, the interactions and stuff, how the characters are. It's, it's it does fit the Scooby Doo uh, atmosphere, so I think in that sense it's not a bad game. I mean, the story is not bad. All right, Scooby, if you can grab that lamp post, that, or whatever lantern. I was just talking good things about you. Are, am I playing this on PC? Um, I'm playing this on the emulator. Damn, I always hate that I was let go. Oh, <laughs> I'm playing this on the emulator. Um, I do own the original copy though. I just play. I play on emulators because uh, it's a lot easier to get the damn game to run. Let me just go down here, because there's a door down here. What's going on? Wait, no, that door doesn't work? <laughs> but yeah, anyways, it's, it's still a fun game. <laughs> it's still a fun game. Um, oh, that's how you get those? I was wondering how I was going to get these sweet snacks. Oh, I got the night helmet. 
moving. Oh, all stacks collected. Yeah, I was kind of upset about this. I'm like, isn't it the... Oh, I can't walk. It's the creepers. I can do the same damn thing with the, the slippers. Running. I guess I just made it a little bit cooler. It does look... It, look, it does look cooler than the uh, the slippers and lampshade, but I kind of like the lampshade more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Scooby Doo is a pretty good dog. Oh god, why you gotta like do that to me right there? Here I go. Yeah, I only play like in games I own, so. I do own this game, so I was like, oh, I, I haven't played, I haven't played it in forever, so I was like, oh, I think this is gonna make a fun stream, so, here we are. Alright, where did I say I need to go now? Um, they said, creepy crawlies. This is Mystic Manor, right? Yeah. JP Collins in the hallways. Do I have this? I think this is the. Is this the one with Shaggy? Do I have this one unlocked? Lighthouse, Fright House. They said I could get it there too. It's a warp game! Lighthouse part two. Alright, let's see. I'm not sure about that. I feel like I've done the lighthouse part and I didn't get shit. I don't remember anything about this. Oh, it's the wrong way. I don't even remember anything about this game. <laughs> like, I remember certain parts about it, but like, there's some things I just like, what? I don't even remember doing this. It is slowly coming back to me, though. Creepy call. Okay, this is what I want. Ah. Part three. I can't get to that part, though. Lighthouse, Fright House. Right. I might have to look up the. Oh, wait. What's this? Ah, that's to turn on the. I can't even use that now. I need a umbrella. I need an umbrella and I need a plunger. Those are two inventions that I need. And I've been trying to get. So, uh. Yeah, in this game, how they... You need inventions to do certain things, so if there's, like, tar on the floor, you need, like, these special boots to, um, walk through it. Uh, this jump attack he has, the smash attack he has, you know, he uses, he uses that for, like, um, to kill enemies and also to get, like, uh, some... There are some buttons that are... Like, you have to, like, smash down on them, so that attack works with that. So it, it's, it's a game where you have to go and collect uh, special abilities to help you throughout the game. And if you don't have that ability, you can't really do the level, so it's, so it's like, oh man, <laughs> what do I do now? Oh wait, shit. <laughs> Let me look this up on YouTube. I have to come. I have to talk to YouTube real quick.
Yeah, how do you get this plunger? Yeah, okay, how I do this part now. Huh? Okay, so there is like a area. It's a warp game. There's like a door. I didn't notice that there was a door in one of the. There's like it's a it's like a jail. It's like a jailhouse. So there's like cells in there, and one of the cells has a door. I don't know. I don't know if I'll play the other Scooby games because this is the only Scooby game that I've played. Um, damn, did I say? I didn't say, but let's try it anyways. Uh, I don't know if I'll play the other one. <laughs> there is another game I do want to play on stream for you guys is a. Uh, Carmen San Diego. There's this Carmen San Diego game I played as a kid and I really enjoyed it. So. Oh no, it's a robbie. <laughs> as long as I can get the game to work, we're in business. So I'm gonna try and get that game to work. I always have a hard time. I played it like a few times uh, throughout the years. It's kind of hard to get games like Windows 98 to work on Windows 10 so it's it's really annoying to get to work but uh I will try and see if I can get that game to work cuz that's a really fun game I think you guys would like it Ruby Sacks. He said it's too high. Ah, see? See, I didn't know about this. I didn't know about that. <laughs> hey, hey, Ian. Yeah, Scooby-Doo is such a good dog. So what I, I guess what I thought was a glitch in this game, I guess it's not a glitch. Right. I'm not sure. I'm just happy to be in a new area, to be honest with you. Cause I was like, where am I supposed to go, man? <laughs> yes, I will it's take the warp, warp gate for a hundred dollars. Yay, we got the plunger! Now we can actually... I've been in this area. I think, yeah, I've been in this area. But I had to look it up. I like... <laughs> I always like when uh, developers make lava look like melted cheese with tomato sauce. That's what it always looks like to me. 
I may be skinny, but I am a fat kid at heart. I am a fat kid at heart. Uh, why are some of these boxes so annoying to get? I think I'm just gonna come back to this area because I'm, there's other areas to explore that I, I know has better stuff. Yeah, Windows, Windows, yeah, it's really. It's really hard to get those games to work. It's like, oh my god. Um, especially when they say it's, oh yes, we've Im we've implemented to make it very easy to use. Oh, wait. Okay, it's all the way at the, okay, there's no it's warp gate. Warp gate. There, I think there's one in that area, but I want to do, I want to do the one that's, there's two places I can go now that I have the plunger attack. Well, plunger invention. Okay. Oh, you have to wait for the van to actually stop spinning. Like, I have to wait for it to slow down. That's one thing I hate about this game. <laughs> I just want to save! Okay. Yeah, it's really hard. Like, uh, it's really hard. Uh, it's just like, it's when you when you stream when you're playing a game for yourself, it's no problem. But when you're playing a game for a stream, it's a whole different other beast. It's like oh, um, things that you normally would not think about when you play. <laughs> when you play with yourself, yes, uh, becomes problems when you gotta stream. I don't know why. Like there, normally I don't really get bothered by uh, small like graphic errors or or if the game's like like how this game right now you see that it stops at certain times, like it will like stop. Like if I if I was playing this by myself, it wouldn't be a problem. But since I'm streaming it, it's like it's really annoying, you know. Uh, things like that, not being able to, not being able. You may not think this one actually is a big one, but not being able to go in Windows mode is a very big problem with streaming, especially the way I do streaming, because I have it where. It's, I have two monitors, I have three monitors, but I have to rebuy a certain part for it to uh, hook up. But I have two setups, so I have the monitor and then I have the, I have two monitors, so it's like, the one, there's one monitor is showing the game and then the other one has like, stream labs and like, chatbot and all that stuff open, so... Sometimes, if I can't put the game in Windows mode, and if it's an old game especially, it will change the resolution of the game I mean, of the screen and make it so I can't see everything so there are times especially with Tomb Raider 1 did this a lot that's why I have to play it wait how did I play Tomb Raider 1 I think yeah I played it on an emulator yeah so that game playing that game on PC was annoying and I couldn't play it on PC because it kept interfering with it kept interfering with my uh, second screen that shows me like everything I need to see, like alerts and all that stuff. Yeah, it's hard to jump out of it. I need to jump out of it. But anyways, so the invention we have now allows me to. This is a slippery uh, slope, I guess. So before I wouldn't be able to. I walk up it, but now that I have the plunger things, I can, uh, I can walk up it. It doesn't matter, <laughs> it doesn't matter now because I still need the umbrella, I can't make that damn jump, I didn't even know that. Aw oh, man, I can't make this jump. 
Yeah, so, oof, haha, <laughs> not today, Satan. So, I still can't get all of them, though. Maybe I can. Haha, <laughs> yeah, so the next item I'm trying to get is this umbrella that allows me to float in the air like uh like Peach I guess from Super Mario 2 like in that in those terms of floating so that's the next item I need to get so I can uh, continue playing for you guys Alright what's this over here? Never been over here <laughs> Ah, crap. Yeah, it's, it's very annoying to jump out, especially when it... If it wasn't... If it, if you're just playing for yourself, it's like, who cares, you know, if I can't tab out. But when you are when you actually have to stream and you, you need to see things, especially because I need to see what's going on. I, like, I need to see if my... If Twitch... If my stream on Twitch is, uh... If it's uh it's working, because sometimes Twitch isn't working, so it's, it's really annoying. Like all these small things that you that normally don't bother you when you play a game for yourself, it's hella annoying when you actually play it for someone else. Even even down to like the sound, like uh, being able for your mic to work and all that other stuff. Um, like I tried to make I tried to make my stream in the sense where if you wanted to just listen, you can just listen. But and it's hard to like have it like that because sometimes people's audios don't sound good because they're always like tapping on the table and and uh, just making a whole bunch of damn noise or like or. Sometimes it's not even you, and there's stuff outside that's making noise, like a dog barking, and it's like, shut the hell up, I'm trying to stream. <laughs> you know, it can get really annoying really fast. I don't know, it's just, or maybe it's just me personally, but I always get upset, like, when there's noise, or <laughs> when there's noise. Yeah, <laughs> I, I do have a blue yeti. The only reason I got a blue, I, <laughs> I got a blue yeti because uh, my friend. Ha the only reason I, I have two. Well, yeah, I guess I, I guess I technically do own two blue yetis now. But uh, when I first started streaming, uh, I got. Wait, what's down here? When I first started, sh Whoa! yeah. When I first started streaming, um, my friends had gotten a Blue Yeti mic for for different purposes. Uh, he got a Blue Yeti mic for different purposes, and. I was starting to, I, that's when I was starting to stream on the PC, so I needed a mic, and his mic, and the mic was just there, so I was, like, so I was just using it, oh man, I got this over, so I was just using it, because, hey, it's a, it's a mic, and it looks nice, so I might as well try and use it, and then I just fell in love with the mic, and now I bought one of my own, but, uh, the room... Uh, he he was a roommate of my boyfriend, so he moved out now, but he forgot the mic. He messed up. He messed up by leaving the mic, because now I'm like, oh, now I have two mics. <laughs> so, yeah. I do feel... I do personally feel that uh, while Yeti is a good mic, I'm not 
gonna knock it. It is it is a very good mic. I can't get up there just yet. It is a very Hello. good mic, but but it is very expensive. Um too expensive actually. It's way too expensive. It's uh it's a good mic, but you can tell that this mic can be cheaper, you know? So that's my only qualms with it. Uh I do like the mic. It's, it reminds me of Bose headphones. Like I, I like Bose headphones, but I would never really buy Bose headphones for full price, you know? Like buying Bose headphones for full price is just it's crazy. It's way too expensive to do that. There's tons. Since I've browsed eBay and I see that you can get Bose headphones for half the price, I've never bought Bose headphones in a store again. I always buy it on eBay. If you get, if you buy Bose earphones, like uh, where where are my headphones? I don't even know what they are, but like the air one, the airphone ones, those ones you can get for like 45, 45, 30, the cheapest I've seen those headphones you can get them for is 30, I want to say 37. But yeah, don't try to, please don't try to spend that much money on, on Bose headphones. Like, I like both headphones, but it's not worth the price that they want to sell it to you for. Like, full price is not worth it. You can, if you just, like, look around, you can... How do I get back to that other place that I was at? If you just look around, especially... No, I don't think it was this one. If you just look around on, like, eBay, you'll find so much... You'll find so much deals. You don't have to spend all that money on... You don't have to spend all that money. I know it's one of these seat, the seat areas, but... Which one was it? I thought I had it unlocked. I don't remember which one it was. Was it Lighthouse Fright House? No, it wasn't this one. It's all Warm day. I don't remember which one it is now. God dang it. It's all warm day. Let's go out this exit. Yeah, it's way too much money. It's way too much money. It was an area with ice in it. That's one thing I can't remember. It's just way too much money. It's a good mic. It's a really, like, if you can, I'm not saying that you shouldn't play the full price for it. I mean, if you have to pay the full price, then pay the full price. But I, I, for this one that I have, I do currently own, I did pay full price for it. But I only paid full price for it because I know it's a good mic. If I, knew, if I was, if I didn't know if it was a good mic, I wouldn't spend that much money on it. Honestly. Oh. It actually is Hedge Mage where I need to go. I thought it was. I thought it was the uh, fishing area. It's a good mic. I would only. Sp I only like spending money on things that I know works. If it doesn't work, then I'm. Then it's more of. Oh my god! Like I do a lot of research on the products that I buy. I don't know. It's part what of the fun that? for me. I just like do watching reviews and stuff. It's I don't know why I find it so much fun, but I find it a lot of fun.
Yeah, I really need that umbrella, man. <laughs> yeah, but when I first started, uh, like when I actually... When I first started streaming, I was using... I was oh. using... Ooh, that slips? That's horrible. When I was first started streaming, I was using my boyfriend's PlayStation 4 and my Bose headphones. Because with the PlayStation 4 now, you can... If you're my... If you have the headsets that have... If you're using the headphones that have a, a mic on it, then you're in business because that's all you need for audio uh, for a mic on the PlayStation 4. So as long as you have good internet and a, a headphones with a mic, you're in business. So that's how I started off. Um, I used to just play Tekken though. I never, I didn't ever like play any different games on it okay i'm just gonna hit all of the ice blocks and then come down here because there's no point yeah so that's how i got started and um while i was doing that i still had my job so uh i had some money put a so when i did quit my job i had some money put aside and then i was like okay you know I want to try and I guess it wasn't more of it wasn't more of I want to get serious about streaming it's just I wanted a better quality stream and I was trying to I guess it was more of I was just trying to put my focus in something else now that I don't have a job that it was it was more of I wanted to put my focus in something that was like a job but that wasn't like a job you know something that I could put my effort into because uh, when I was working there all my efforts went into that so I figured if I'm putting in effort into something that I into something that I would actually want to do you know that I think is fun uh, I wouldn't mind doing that so uh, I, I had some money put aside and I I bought a webcam. The webcam I have is a Logitech. I forgot what it's called. It was like 40 bucks. And I bought the Yeti mic. And everything else I have, it was, I had. So, um, I, I, I had my computer for, I don't even know how old my computer is. I would consider my computer a grandfather right now because technology has- oh, I forgot that it does this. I don't like he headphones. I love headphones. I love headphones. <laughs> well, earphones in particular. I don't like the over the- over the air- um, headphones. I like earphones, like the ones that you push into your ears. Those are the ones I like. Of course they sink. Of course they sink. Of course everything sinks in this area. I'm just gonna take my time because I want to do this again because I missed some Scooby Snacks. <laughs> Airbuds, yes, Airbuds. Oh, that's pretty good. Maybe the one you have is the same one I have. I have like, I think, I think the camera I have from my oh. webcam is is the streamer 
startup kit. Like it's it's a webcam that I, I, I believe a lot of streamers starting out and still I think even partnered um, use. Um, I do one. <coughs> I, I build, one of my stream, uh, I guess, gets bigger or whatever. I do want to switch to using my Canon, my Canon camera, my DSLR for for streaming and stuff. Uh, yeah, um, I have a DSLR camera, um, a T3 that I would. I think I would rather use that because uh, it just looks better. But uh, there's a program that I have I have to buy and stuff, so I'm I'm like no. <laughs> um, if anything, I do like about um, doing this job in particular and um, just how I, I try to live my life now. I've been. I think I've become more frugal, <laughs> frugal in my spending habits, so, um, that's what I try to do. <laughs> I think once I finally reach, like, the, what's it, the hundred dollar mark, so, um, I don't know if you guys know this. And I guess I don't know if I can share. It. I guess yeah. I guess this is like common knowledge. So, um, on Twitch, uh, the difference between an affiliate and a partner is that a partner gets more money than affiliates. So. Affiliates, like if you get a subscription, you get half of, like, I think a partner gets half of that, and so, what's it, uh, affiliate gets even less than that, I think uh, affiliate gets like two dollars and something, and I think, a, I would think a partner would get maybe like four to three dollars, so, the thing that sucks about that, uh, is that, you do not get a payout until you reach a hundred, so <laughs> it's like, damn, <laughs> it sucks, but it's just whatever. Um, most of, the, uh, to be honest with you, it's whatever because most, if I once I do get like the money, it's just gonna go back into the stream. I'm just gonna like buy games and stuff. Um, there's a few games I really want to get, so um, as a way <laughs> of thank you, that's what I'm gonna just do with the money is just buy games and just to make the stream better. It does make sense though that they do it that way. I'm not upset about it in any way. It is. I did. I started this to do it as for fun, so you know, it's whatever. I'm just, I'm just surprised people do subscribe to me. I'm like, wow, you actually find me entertaining. Half of the time, I'm like figuring out what the hell to say. <laughs> um, another thing about like, I guess, doing streaming. Is that um, I've been doing more research. Um, I guess not research, more more of a reading, like looking into history and different. I guess yeah, I've been doing more research, but in the sense where it's it's like I'm trying to get more knowledge because I do I have to do a, I realize in streaming you have to do a lot of talking so. Um, so it gets to a point like what do I talk about? So <laughs> I've been trying to just like learn new things to talk about, you know? <laughs> so <laughs> Yeah, I've been um 
what the latest thing I've been uh, doing research on. <laughs> I guess Ian will like this. I've been doing research on the history of England. I, I have to rewatch it because um, it's more of it's so much talking the guy does, and it's it's good. I, I enjoy it every step of the way, but it's like, oh god, now I gotta do that all over. No, I don't need a expensive camera. No, I already have. <laughs> No, it's just to talk about. No, I already have this camera. Everything I use, I own. I wouldn't go out and buy a um, camera. I have a, I have a T3 already. It's just the program it's a, that I would rather use uh, costs money, but it's whatever. I, I already have a webcam, so it's, it's um. I don't really need it, you know. It's just more of, I was just, I was just saying in general, where it's like, um, ways to make your stream better. It's like, it just comes to a point where it's everything that, um, excessively, and just in general, make, like, making something better will cost money. I always try to find ways to, um, Make it so it doesn't cost money, especially, especially <laughs> since you know I'm poor. But uh, starting off, starting out, um, a, a lot of a lot of people who do the whole uh, what do you need for streaming? They all they always give good advice. Like you really don't need. You don't really need a lot of expensive stuff. You doesn't. You really does need. I guess you don't need a webcam, but uh, it helps. But um, all you need is like a, a decent mic, and you don't really need like a Yeti mic. You could just use. Damn, I'm gonna mess this up. You can use it like a headphone mic. Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't used. I I haven't like really had to experiment with mics, so um, I'm not sure which price limit you would need, but um, I think for the most part most mics are decent, so you can get away with that. It's always funny when I like. <laughs> it's funny how. Um, it's really funny how my stream has um, changed from since the first stream I did. From the first stream I did to um, now, like I was using the same mic on the same mic and same webcam for the uh, for the longest, but. Uh, the more knowledge I got about how to make the webcam look better, I think it, it doesn't really show, I think, but um, I think it's better than what it used to be. <laughs> so um, I think it, it also comes with just knowledge of how your product works. You don't need like the biggest, fanciest thing for it to work properly. I like, that's what I like to think. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I got so nervous. I shouldn't have jumped. Yeah, that's how I like it. Oh, man. I should... When I first started... Oh, man. When I first started streaming with that mic, that Yeti mic, it was... It was very hard. Um... Another thing, I don't know if a lot of streamers do talk about it. I don't really see a lot of people talk about it in their introduction to streaming. Like, oh, you want to start streaming? Here's what you got to do. They don't talk about, like, 
how many hours it might take for you to just get the audio to sound right, you know? Um, there's plenty of times where it's 3 o'clock and I'm supposed to stream at 3 o'clock, but I can't stream because my mic sounds really bad, you know? So it gets so annoying when, um, when things don't, especially your audio, it doesn't sound good. It's so annoying. Um, it's really annoying. Yeah, when I first got this mic, I didn't know how it worked. So I had to sit there and watch a whole bunch of YouTube videos. Um, and then once I got it to work, I had to spend... <laughs> I, had, I, I could tell... I even still do it now. Um, what I did, for the most part, was I would do... Um, OBS has it where you can stream and record so what I would do is I would record the video and sometimes I'd be playing the game so I can hear how my voice sounds like and how the audio sounds like so I would do that a lot of different ways and I would change the levels and you know all that jazz damn it I would change the audio and the levels and all of that just so, um, just so I can get like a good sound and a good balance between between the game audio and my voice. Sometimes, even like yesterday, I was like, "Oh, Scooby, the the voice um, the music in Scooby Doo sounds more. It's louder than me." So. When streaming, you have to pay attention to all these small details sometimes. Like, oh, is my audio low enough? Um, is my voice, ah, <laughs> talking and doing this is hard, but, um, I like, I don't mind it. Um, it's just like, um, you're always thinking in the back of your head, oh, is my stream down? Is my audio working properly? It's a lot of things you gotta think about. <laughs> It gets, it gets frustrating sometimes uh, because uh, it's it's you want to I, I I think everybody always wants to have the perfect stream um, so you want it to be as good as possible so oh, for, I missed that jump so you try to make it good as possible and it's it's so much work. And that's just, and that's just like, <laughs> and that's just getting the setup right, um, this, then there's like being actually good at the game, like I currently am not, and then there's also, I, I guess it depends on the stream, I mean like, I, w I always think, um, you can make your stream however you want, uh, you know? And it's up to you. Some people don't like talking, and that's fine. But I, I like talking because I don't know. I like talking, and normally people are always <laughs> like you talk too much. So I always think of my stream as a way for me to talk. Um, so there's so much that you gotta think about. Um, there's so much you always gotta think about. What music you're gonna play? I don't know. Maybe these are small, like, like problems, but I always think about these, like, stuff, you know? And especially, like, with uh, streaming in general and uploading it to YouTube um, is another problem because if you have copyrighted music on your, on your audio, you're gonna get a copyright claim. Um, <laughs> I totally forgot um, with this game in particular and a few games uh, yeah I'm just gonna continue That's pretty cool. Ah, sweet. So, what was I saying now? So, yeah, this game in particular, and uh, I'll 
say it, uh, Emperor's New Groove, they have, um, Scooby Dooby Doo the game shows you, uh, an opening of Scooby Doo. And I played it, and I put it on YouTube, so now it's like, I got a copyright claim because it's like, oh yeah, we heard, we heard the Scooby-Doo opening, so, yeah, you know, I mean, it's not like to say my YouTube isn't at a point where I can even claim money on it, it's like, it's not even at that point, but it, it's just, um, it's more of, I, I, I like to think of, be, before, I mean, not not before, um, ahead, especially um, with streaming and streaming, and I started to started doing more YouTube. I've never been a big, I've never been a big fan of doing the YouTube, like putting YouTube videos up and everything, but uh, I've been trying to do that more, and so. It's really annoying because, um, and it's, you know, I, as an artist, it's like, yes, I do appreciate that you, they look out for artists like that, but it's like, it's like, damn, <laughs> you gotta really be careful, um, how you do your, um, what songs you pick and stuff because, uh, it might be copyright. So, um, It de like if it's a st it depends on the stream like if it's a st like if this uh like how this is scooby doo i you know i want to put this up on youtube so i won't play i won't really try and play any copyrighted music <laughs> to avoid that you know it's it's a more of um i don't want it to get copyright claims so you know, maybe in the future, oh, how do I even get this monster token? In the future, you know, I can actually claim money on it, you know? So it's, um, it's, as a streamer, well, not, I guess it's not even as a streamer, it's more as a, as a content creator. You have to, like, focus on these things. Like, I normally didn't think about these things, but now, now it's like, oh, yeah. Oh, that's what I'm supposed to do, huh. As a content creator, you gotta keep that in mind. Because, uh... I guess if you're not trying to collect money or whatever, it's what, you know, it's whatever, do, you know, do it, but... Um... <laughs> uh, there are times when I don't mind playing, uh, like, regular music, because, you know, I still like listening to music, so, there are streams where I am playing music, so, um, those streams I've never, like, those streams I know it's, it's like, it's a loss, I'm not gonna get anything off of it, so, it's more, oh, okay, I'm just gonna do my own thing. <laughs> I, I d I've been doing that for my Japanese streams, uh, since it's just me just typing and stuff, you know, it, it adds a little bit more fun to it by playing music. And, you know, I do, I do like showing, I do like, um, showing people the music that I've been playing. So, um, not playing, the music that I, uh, learned about. Oh, wow, I gotta do that all over again? Yeah, I, I do like sharing music, so... It's always nice when I'm like, okay, this stream I don't really care about putting out on YouTube or even Twitch because Twitch just mutes your music too. So it's like, oh, okay, I can like <laughs> just play whatever. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of sad you don't save, you didn't save that video. I really wanted to um, rewatch it. I, I rewatch your video. I rewatch your videos. Oh, I also um. I, I've been re-watching Denizen's videos, too, because, uh, um, I've been re-watching Denizen's video, because it was a fun stream, talking to you guys, so, <laughs> and Denizen doesn't save his videos either, so I was like, let me watch this, 
because I know it's gonna get expired soon. Um, but I hope we do that like a uh, more uh, I guess co-op stream <laughs> or co-hosting because that was really fun. I actually enjoyed that. That's another thing that's hard when you have um. Now it's not even moving. What the heck? <laughs> um, the thing, what's so hard about doing co-hosting? I like doing co-hosting if it's not my stream because, um, I'll tell you why. Um, I don't really like doing it if it's my stream because um, I like to focus on the person who's talking and on the stream. So it's so hard. It is very hard to interact with people in the chat and talk to someone. You know, I don't know. I find I find it hard. I mean, people probably find it easy, but like, um, it, it's like a really hard balance between you talking, you listening to the person, and reading comments, and making sure that you're not giving one more, uh, you're giving someone more attention than the other. Because, uh, I like to think of a stream as like we're all in one room and sure we're all in different rooms but we're all like playing the game together in a way where it's like we are it, it's like we are in one room but um we just happen to be in our own area <laughs> oh thank you for the bits you are oh, i'm so happy um i just like talking <laughs> I, I just like talking <laughs> um, and sharing my experiences because um, uh, because you might actually learn something. So I like listening to what other people have to say. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm, ho I'm happy that you're learning. <laughs> Um, and thank you for the bits also. <laughs> I do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Oh, this area is giving me slow down. But yeah, there's so much work that goes into it. Um, like I, uh, it really, it really has gotten to the point where it's like, okay. I gotta research on things to talk about, so, <laughs> um, I mean, I don't have to research on anything, and, you know, I could just keep talking however I want to, but, I, I don't know, I just like the idea of, um, it's a warp day. knowing more stuff, uh, because, one, it's good to know, um, different things, and um, I feel you can uh, knowing, especially like knowing. Um, I get a lot of viewers from all over the world, so I like to look to see um, where people are coming from. So you know, um, where people are coming from, so that way I can like learn about those areas. Um, I get a lot of people from the UK. A lot of people, yeah, I do get a lot of people from the UK, so I've been like uh, really researching more on the history and stuff, mostly because um, I feel like if you want to make a good joke, knowing like the history and everything really helps. <laughs> so if anything about like learning history is like it, it opens, it opens the door to make more jokes and stuff, so I'm always I, I, I don't know if this part will kill me. I think there's a, no shit. I just want to make sure. Okay, I just want to make sure. So um, 
I always think of it like that, it's like, <laughs> cause I like, I always, I always like throwing my um, UK audience under the bus every time I can. So <laughs> I figured if I know a little bit more, um, I can make more fun. And also, it's just good to like know the not, um, history and stuff in general. And for once, it's, it doesn't feel like, oh, I'm in school, oh, kill me now. It's, it's actually, I really find it fun. I, I really do find it fun. Um, I have, a, I have a, a lot of fun learning about um, different cultures and stuff. I feel, I don't know for people, but um, I don't know. I feel like when I do that, I feel like I can understand them more. Yeah. Um, where do you see those statistics? Um, if you go on, if you go to Twitch and you go to web producer, uh, and then you, they, they keep moving it. They, you, Twitch is like, hold on. Let's get that key so we can get out of here. Okay. So, um, how are we gonna get over here, Shaggy? So, yeah, so on Twitch, there is the viewer, what's it, not the viewer, the web, uh, not web, uh, the video producer. So, it's Twitch, then you go to, uh, I have to look at it myself. Hold on. It's so you see the small arrow where it says video and then you scroll down and you go to video producer It's that and then you go to They keep moving it. So you go to analytics the analytics like um Category and then you scroll then you'll see stats and that's where you will see um You can get a You can get a general idea of like who's watching you and which country and stuff they're from um, that's what I usually do. Uh, it kind of sucks because, uh, they used to have it where you can look, uh, at each video, like, um, because sometimes, you know, people watch your broadcasts after you broadcast, so, um, you can also see which, like, countries or even, like, how people are watching your videos, um, or sh I mean your stream. Um, some people are watching it through cell phones, some people are watching it through TV, some people are watching it through um, Mac OS, so <laughs> it gives you all that knowledge and it also shows you where your traffic's coming from. So um, I have a Teespring account and I've, I sh um, Run, How are you gonna run away? <laughs> yeah! So, um, I have a Teespring account and I put it where... I have it where, um... I put in the bio of, like, each t-shirt my link to my stream, so... Uh... Robot when I... When somebody... One time, uh... It was, like, the day after I did that, um... And I streamed, and then I saw that someone got, uh, they, they came from Teespring to my stream that way. So Twitch can uh, do things like that. It shows you exactly where people are coming from. So you can see if they're coming from your Twitter, because, you know, you posted a, a notification and all that other stuff. So, um... It's really good. It was cooler when you can when uh, you can look at each video, like each broadcast or highlight that you make, that you can see where people are coming from. It's, I don't know. I just like to see it because 
It's just, I just think that's fascinating. Um, I didn't, when I started streaming, I didn't really think of who was going to watch me. Um, I just was like, I'm just going to play the, I, it was really more of like, I was just going to play the game and just hope for the damn best. But, um, it's a work game. I get, I guess like the, when I started seeing that, oh wow, people from the UK are watching me. Like it's news, it's the US, then it's UK, then it's Germany. Sometimes it's Bulgaria, and then depending on what I'm playing, um, depending on what I'm playing, I'll get different audience. So it's it's interesting. I don't know. It also really shows you how big the world is. Sometimes I get people from these small islands that I didn't even know exist. I'm like, whoa, you guys got internet over there, man. <laughs> so it's really fun. You should look in. You should really look at that because um, um, if you can see where your pe where people are watching you and coming from, um, maybe you would. I think it's cool to like learn about those areas and stuff, just so you can. I don't know. Feel more connected. Oh, this is where Daphne is. Scooby. Yeah, they just fun to look at. Bye bye. Keep it up, Scooby. I'm almost there. Got it. Jeepers, my skin was beginning to chafe. Hey, you won't get away that easy. I really like this guy's voice. You think that was easy? <laughs> this will teach you to cross paths with me. Here. I think this old friend of yours is dying to see you. Uh -huh. Ooh, who's dying to see me? Oh no, not you. Oh, Scooby, I can't believe it. It's the green ghost. That's right. And pretty soon you won't stand a ghost of a chance. <laughs> that was a horrible pun. You should feel bad. Of course a villain would say something like that. Stay still. Daphne, come over here. Wait. Nope, nope, nope. No thank you. No thank you. Oh, okay. You got skill, huh? Daphne, can I tell you where to go? Because you're going to, like, not where I want you to go. Yeah. Good yeah, job, dude. Scooby. Yeah, me too. But what's the green ghost doing here? There's so many ghosts around here. Scooby Doo, the green ghost isn't really a ghost. Well, what about the Reaper and the Black Knight? Have you seen them as well? Uh huh. Jeepers, those are all villains from our past. Scooby-Doo, something strange is definitely going on here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Daphne! Daphne that gone. Is a ghost. I saw it, Scooby. Oh. Ah! Hey, what the hell? Easy, guys. It's just me. Where Polly. you come from? <sighs> I don't know oh. if I trust this Holly person. Holly, boy, am I glad to see you. Scooby and I have been seeing some pretty strange things. Hey, what's that? Oh, I found a box of my Uncle Alexander's inventions. Ooh, what he got? I'm not sure why it's in here, though. He usually keeps them in his super secret lab. A secret lab? 
Yeah, that's where he thinks up all his crazy inventions. Maybe there's something in here we can use. Or a clue. Or a ruby snack. Solar-powered nightlight. Whack. Underwater women's racket. Whack. Microwave safe ice cube tray. Whack. Ray, what's with this umbrella? Ooh. That's actually one of my uncle's more useful inventions. Damn, Daphne. Daphne. Raleigh. 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 They got some wild eyes, go yeah. Here we go again. Yes, yeah, Scooby Doo. Right. Can you see him? Da 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 da. Ah, finally. Ah, oh, dang! I can't do a double jump after it. Watch out! Um, yeah, it's pretty cool they have a classic villains in this game, um, it's also nice, it really is nice that they have the original voice actors too, that makes it, that makes it so good, um, I really do like that, that they have the original voice actors. They have a lot of big names in this, um, in this, uh, in this game. I can't place where the the main villain his voice is. I love I love his voice, but I can't place where it's from. But uh, I don't know if he's big or not, but a big actor or not. But <laughs> I think he, his voice is pretty pretty good. That actually got me. It's just I got a freaking eyelash in my eye again. Ooh, we got we got a monster token! Yay! We got ice cream. I never. I don't remember getting the ice cream. All right. Since we want, we want this way, and we just completed all of that. So let's go this way. Ruby snacks. Does this professor really own all of this? Because if he does, wow. <laughs> it's a lot of lands. I don't think he does. Now we can float! Scooby snacks. I'll get them. Ah! I get. <laughs> I'll get them at another time. Oh wait! Oh, I have another chance. Okay. Ah!
Yeah, there's so much. <laughs> um, there's so much games that I really um, want to play. Uh, um, I guess I've talked about this before, but uh, I used to when I was in high school. I used to collect a lot of video games. Um, because I'm a hoarder and I like collecting stuff, so. <laughs> Uh, I used to try to find games that were. I always tried. I, I tried to find games that were weird <laughs> or um, rare. Um, there's one game I have. I don't know if you, you guys maybe know about it. It's called Rule of Rose, and I wanted that game for so long. Um, I had wanted that game for so long. Um, then, cause at back then, that was maybe like four years ago. Uh, that game was, let's say, it's a PlayStation Two game, also. So that game was going for about sixty to seventy bucks at the time, and. Um, because it, it, it's, a, it's a rare game, and, um, it's rare, that game is rare, there's a lot of Scooby Snacks over here. That game is rare because, um, <laughs> of, one, because there's a lot of, um, horrible things that happen in that game. So, it got, it got, did it get banned? Yeah, it got banned, and then... I think it's only banned in the UK. I don't think it... Yeah, it's only banned in the UK, so it's... Um, you can get this game in the US, no problem, but... It's still a rare game to get. So, when, um... I was trying... When I first started seeking out this game... Rule of Rose... Uh, I didn't want to spend that much money on it, so... <laughs> What I used to do was, I used to go to these niche um, video game stores and then one time, I, I was just going to the bank with my dad and there was a game store and this game store um, I've been going to for years. Um, when I was a kid, that's where I used to get all my video games from, so it was more of like I was going in there for nostalgic reasons and just to see what they had because uh, it's a game store. <laughs> they got games. And I go in there and I see this game called The Rule of Rose for $10. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> I, I didn't I want I didn't want them to know that this game was rare and that this they're like underpricing this game so I, I just played it cool and I was like oh can I get this game Rule of Rose and they're like yes you can you can get it and I bought it and I was so happy I was so happy that was like the first time I felt what it is to feel like when um, you get a a bargain and such a fun like I don't know it was just like oh my god I know something you don't know and it's like <laughs> I saved so much money but anyways this game now is uh this game now goes for like a hundred dollars it sucks because um a lot of PlayStation games that I wanted to get and not only PlayStation, uh, other games too. They've gone up in price. It's <laughs> they've all gone up in price, and it's just like cheese. Um, because uh, especially since I started streaming, um, I'll, I'll backtrack. So <laughs> it was always funny because because when I st I hate this part. I remember this part. I remember this part. I actually got farther than I remembered Yahoo! I remember this part in particular um when I started streaming and uh I not started streaming when I collected games 
it was more of like, okay, I'm buying all these games, and I, you know, these are games that I really do like, but what am I gonna play? <laughs> I mean, it's. it's and I'm not saying like it was like, oh, okay, now I'm not gonna collect them. It was still like, I, I'm gonna collect them, but it was like, damn, when am I gonna find time to play all these games? So, in a way, it was, it's kind of funny now because now. I have a reason to play these games. Like I had a reason before, but now it's um, before it was more of like I'm just gonna pick and choose which one I'm gonna play. But now since I I have a streaming channel and stuff, it's like okay, um, it's more of what am I gonna play next? Um, so. I'm always thinking about, and I think if you're a streamer, you should think about this too. What are you gonna play next? Like, you shouldn't be thinking about that once the stream is, you finish stream, finish playing that game. You should do it, be, like as while you're playing that game, or even before you play that game, you should be thinking about. Oh no! <laughs> I thought I was gonna die. Oh no 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 no! You should be thinking about what game you're gonna play next. Um, so um, for me, after the doing the Tomb Raider series, I really want to do the Resident Evil series. So I've been trying to find deals in particular for Resident Evil Resident Evil games. Mostly the old ones right now, the PlayStation One. Um, Resident Evils I'm trying to collect because I, I I do have majority of the Resident Evil games on Steam but uh, I would like to have those the physical Yahoo! copies of those right, games too it'd be I don't know it'd, it'd just be nice to have the physical copy of that game so um, I'm trying to do that and I'm trying to do it before I finish the Tomb Raider stream but I still got time because uh, a new Tomb Raider game came out, and I still have a few Tomb Raider games to play, so I still got time. <laughs> I'm also looking for more deals. What kind of har uh, what kind of horrible stuff happens to get it banned? Um, uh, let's just say there's a lot of child abuse in that game. Uh, let's just say that. Um, not like child. It's it's um. It's very subtle. Um, it's very 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 subtle in Ruler Rose, but it's there. Like um, you. It's not. It's a game that requires you to like really understand the environment and do like uh looking at body language and yeah it requires you to look at body language and um reading and all of that stuff um, it doesn't come out straight like okay yeah child abuse it's really subtle you, you would have to like you would have to like re you would have to just know about the game or just like after like you finish the game, you'd have a better understanding. Um, but yeah, that game has a lot of um, a lot of uh, <laughs> horrible things that happen. It's still it's not like it's okay. It's not like a game that is like whoa, I can't stream this. It's like you can still stream it, but it's just like um, by the end of that game, you will cry. <laughs> By the end of that game, you will cry. I'm just gonna say that. Sorry. Oh, um, I was just saying that uh, in Roller Rose, it just has like a lot of um, really um, damn. How am I supposed to? Yes, this I do remember this part because I hate this part because <laughs> it's hard to get that jump. But um. What I was saying about Real Rose, uh, yeah, it has a lot of um, child abuse um, themes in it. Um, 
Lots of that. Scooby! Uh, Scooby! I would say another thing that it has, but if I say if I say that, it kind of gives it away. So I won't say it. Um, yeah, that game will make you cry. That game made me cry. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty sad what happens in that game. Do I have to keep doing that over? Yeah, I do, don't I? Wait, wait a sec. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, um, with that being said, it is a masterpiece, um, the music, the, the, the designs of the characters, uh, everything is good, everything is good, uh, that game is really good, the only thing that sucks about Rule of Rose is the friggin' combat in that game. Um, I don't know when I will play Rule of Rose, but I will be playing it sometime when I get a chance. Um, but yeah. <laughs> For once, I actually don't even want to get Scooby Snacks. Like, I'm really not with these Scooby Snacks right now. Ah, coñasso. Yeah, um... There's a lot of games that I, I, I want to play, and it, it's kind of nice that uh, I'll be able to play them, so... There I, go. Um, I guess be excited for that, I don't know what to say. There's another game I want to play. Um, I just gotta buy the... I just gotta buy the part two um, of it. Let's, Oh man. Yeah, I just have to buy part two of it, so yeah. I'll probably just wait until my birthday to just buy it. <laughs> See that's when I get money, so that's what I usually do. Yes, I do I I do have like <laughs> I do have money to like survive on. I don't like just wait until like big holidays to just receive money and then just live off of that. <laughs> but uh, yeah. <laughs> Has anybody ever played Glover? <laughs> Scooby, you make too much noise. Alright, see you later, Ian. Good night, sleep well. Uh, thank you for watching. <laughs> you know, I thought I would get that Scooby Snack by now. Jesus Christ, this part's like annoying. 
one, this this part sucks because um, because you gotta jump and there's water first of all, and then it sucks too because these jumps Scooby Doo aren't really high. They're not really high at all. They're pretty like I don't know. Cause Scooby's like regular jump sucks. Like the double jump is everything. Like his jump he has, he might as well just be jumping in place because it's such a small jump. Ah shoot. I just wanna get on top of there. And I, it's like I'm also trying to collect all the Scooby snacks, so it's like, oh lord. That's the thing that sucks. That's another thing that sucks about like streaming is, is um, is parts like these where it's like, ah oh, crap. You know, you don't want to be too boring. With it. It's like I'm stuck in a position where it's like, I gotta do it a billion times. But um, you know, I I hate when I I hate when I'm stuck in an area because uh, I don't know. I just think it's boring. <laughs> How did that not get it? Ah, oh, Mendok sign up. Uh, how did I not reach? And they expect me to do all of that shit. I gotta do that a billion times. Oh my god, I just wanna be done with this area. I do remember this area though. As a kid, yeah, I hated this area. Hmm, I'm actually surprised I got this far as a kid. I, I think I looked some of this up. Where I Yeah, this was the. Yeah, when I was playing this game, was YouTube even a thing? Let's play as a thing on YouTube Scooby. at this time, and Scooby makes so much noise too. How? How? Slay? How? Um. Can I wait? Can I do like? Can I keep float and then jump again? What was the year? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember that. I don't remember what year it was. You got you would have to Google that. I want to say like 2000. I want to say 2006. Maybe 2003. What about the ground pound thing? Ah, thank you. Yeah, that makes no sense. I never thought of that. Oh, <laughs> I get so comfortable with it. Oh, at least I know what to do now. I have a better idea of what to do now, so thank you. Oh god, the game's like, oh, what, you figured out my secret, huh? <laughs> god, I never thought about using a ground pound, actually. It makes, it does, I actually got through that part pretty easy. Err. Um, I think I'm gonna do this part, like, I don't know if I I wanted to get a hundred percent, but now that I think about it, if I gotta do this part, like I'd probably have to do this off stream. <laughs> it's some shit because like to do this on stream, oh my god. Oh wait, I'm messing up. 
I forgot how I did it. Oh my god, I'm so I was so excited to do it again and then I fucked it up. Wait, I forgot how to do it though. Wait. Now I'm scared to do it because I don't wanna die. Now I'm in this predicament where it's where it's like do I want to do it or not? If anything, this this part reminds me of anniversary. It reminds me of anniversary because I have to redo this part so many times. Um, how did I do it again? I totally forgot how I did it. Damn, I felt like I felt so cool when I did it. Anywho, um... <laughs> this is where you just need a save state. It's been feeling like summertime um, a lot recently. It's kind of weird because I've, I'm, I'm so used to such cold weather and now all of a sudden it's all warm. It's, it's so annoying. It's like this water never knows what, to, what it wants to do. Like first it's too cold, then it's like too rainy, now it's just too hot. You know, it never goes from like being comfortable, warm, and then just hot. You know, it goes like, it's just hot. Like, damn, like, jeez. I hate this part. Here I go. No. This part's annoying. Ra oh, shut up. <laughs> yeah, it's like going from being like too cold to too hot. It's it's not it's not the fan. I gotta bring out the fan soon. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna do this in the summer. Um, I guess the AC, if I put in the AC, it shouldn't be that loud. I'll just have to do a touch screen with it. Nah. Uh, I gotta do a delayed jump. Right, I just want to be out this fucking area. What the hell? Do the thing. Man, they so wicked too. <laughs> no que lastima! Ay. Man, this game is mad wicked right now. I was enjoying this game good. I was enjoying this game and now it's just like, oh man, this is like the worst thing. Here I go! Yahoo! I, I didn't, I guess I, I should have thought about it. Um, Scooby Doo can like delay his double jump, so. I think when I get closer to that area, right here, I gotta do like a jump and then do another delayed jump. Shit. Or not. <laughs> oh man, I hate, I hate this. Can I 
just like Whippy! Whippy! Oh. Yeah, I wish Scooby Doo didn't make so much damn noise either. I never understood why in like games. I guess geared towards kids, they always have to add. Um, finally, I got that Scooby snack. They always have to add like. They always gotta make the character make noise noises like every five minutes or like everything they do is a damn noise. I also had to make Scooby jump to his highest. Um, no, no, no. Ah, so it's like I have to make him jump to this his highest height, and then I have to like do the jump. Then I gotta do a delayed jump, and then I gotta hope and pray that I freaking make it. God damn. It. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just a scrub. Yahoo! I'm just a scrub! Yep, I'm definitely a scrub. Sing in a parody version, yeah. No, no! <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to press that. Yeah, I'm singing a parody version because I. <laughs> hopefully, that doesn't get a copyright claim on it. <laughs> Jeez, imagine. I won't be su I won't be surprised if it comes to a time where even you singing the song gives you a copyright notice. Damn, that's gonna suck. Like I didn't play any copyrighted material. You sang the song, sir. You sang the song. Where I roll. I was actually listening to that song the other day. <laughs> I, I remember when like um I remember I don't even wanna talk because I gotta do this part, so I don't know, you guys gotta give me a second. I like how they put that freaking pole in the floor so I can't see. Um, I remember when uh, music videos premieres were, were a big thing. Like, there was a point, there was a time where, like, seeing Busta Rhymes' new video was, like, the biggest thing. <laughs> I miss stuff like that. Hey, can I just like skip this whole? F See. <laughs> All right. Let's do this part. 
Finally, we got somewhere. Whew. Feels nice to be somewhere else. Um, where am I supposed to go? This thing better not sink. I don't like how tight he's tight this area is. Alright, where did he sleep? I can't go that way. Friggin' fish bothering me. Fish let me live though. Jeez. How you want me to get hmm. I do want the monster to. I have no idea how to get said monster token, so let's Ooh. keep on moving. Moving and grooving. Um, wait, what happened to the, like, the sound over here? For once I don't hear Scooby Doo's jumping and it kind of terrifies me. <laughs>
sweet. Now I can go over there with the war pad and get the thing and do the stuff. And get all the girls and die. Really? How you miss all the fun between that uh, time period? That's a really long time. I could imagine like school, school just taking over everything. I have you know that I was a delinquent. Wait, I gotta do all that all over again? Nah, y'all playing. Damn, this game is like... <laughs> this game is ice cold, baby. Yeah, I did so bad and I was- I was- I was bad in school. Not bad as in bad, like a bad apple, it was more of... I've just had bad grades. <laughs> I've never, I've never, um, believe it or not. Shit. I was trying to use him as a jump. Um, yeah, I never, uh, skipped, I never skipped school. I would just, uh, I just wouldn't go. <laughs> I mean, and I would, what I would do is 